Hello, designers. In this tutorial, we're going to demonstrate how to create a bottle reflection effect using Photoshop. Let's begin by setting up the background. We'll create two layers, one for the floor and another for the wall. Now, using the selection tool, draw a rectangle on the floor layer to represent the floor area. Next, choose a bluish color for the floor and fill the selected area by pressing Alt and Backspace. Then, select the Wall layer, right-click, and choose Inverse. Pick a shade of blue similar to the floor color for the wall, and fill it by pressing Alt and Backspace again. Finally, press Ctrl D to deselect, navigate to File, Place, Embedded, and select the bottle file to place it into the project. Once placed, resize the bottle as needed. Now, to create the reflection, we'll need a duplicate of the bottle. Press Ctrl J to duplicate it. Then, press Ctrl T and right click, selecting Flip Vertical. Using the down arrow key on your keyboard, move this flipped duplicate layer downwards to position it for the reflection effect. Move the duplicated layer downwards and adjust the positions of both bottles accordingly. Lower the opacity of the duplicated bottle layer to around 50%. Then, create a layer mask on it and select the mask layer. Set black as your foreground color and choose a soft brush with an opacity of 63%. Begin erasing the bottom part of the duplicated bottle to create the reflection effect. Now, create a new layer and set black as the foreground color. Double click to apply it. Press Ctrl T. Then adjust the position of the stroke layer using the shift key. Place it under the main bottle layer and adjust its scale and position to indicate that the bottle is resting on it. Next, change its blending mode from normal to multiply to enhance the shadow effect. Using the brush tool, select white as the foreground color and create a new layer to add a stroke on the top of the bottle. Then, change its blending mode from normal to overlay. If you want to reduce the brightness of the white stroke on the bottle, you can use the eraser tool to gently erase it from areas that appear too bright, or adjust the opacity of the layer. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up and leaving a comment. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content like this.